Our nine month lead in preparation for the games was thorough, one of our favourite words, and um, of a really high standard. We had an exceptional squad of 25 players. It was very competitive for spots in the side, and any one of those 25 players could have been a part of a team of 16 at the games and without doubt would have done a great job. I don't think there was one of us playing that night or in the entire squad that didn't expect us to win every game that we played, including those at the Sydney Olympics. So the pressure of expectation from others is never really any more than we placed on ourselves. And it actually never felt like a pressure to win. Our expectation was that we would produce this exceptional level of hockey and intensity and concentration for every minute of every training session and every game. And our training environment reflected this. So we were ready. Uh, the pressure and the level we created when we competed against each other uh, over many, many years was so great that even the Olympic Games wasn't really a step up. Our uh, preparation was certainly not without challenges and obstacles, but we worked incredibly hard and we built a real belief in each other. And the Olympics is such an unknown. So many variables, so many things can happen, but we all had a quiet confidence in our group. We'd done the hard work. We had the talent to be able to win. We just had to go out there and do our job. I started getting nervous from the moment I got on the bus to leave the pre-Olympic camp in the Blue Mountains. And this stayed with me till the final. The thoughts um, yeah, they just sort of flooded in about how many people were watching, um, not wanting to stuff up. They were very much there the night of the final. The build up to the Sydney Olympics was not perfect. Um, it was, especially when you compare it to Atlanta. Going into Atlanta, we'd had you know, like a 30 game winning streak. Um, Sydney, not so, not so good. And you could feel the pressure building. I could feel the stress coming off the coaches and, and players as well. Um, but there was always that underlying, well, first of all, belief, but also a, a knowledge and a knowing that we weren't playing as well as we could and that our best was still yet to come. The pressure and expectation was huge. It was, it was kind of frustrating because in the lead up to the games in the potential medal count for Australia, the media had already penciled in hockey roos, Olympic gold medal and as any athlete will tell you it's really hard to win an Olympic gold medal but we'd been dealing with the favoritism tag and high expectations for many years so for us it was very much about relentlessly going through the process to be ready to compete and just worrying about what we could do ourselves what we could control but it's always a juggling act at the Olympics because you want to be able to enjoy the experience and take in the excitement and the unbelievable atmosphere, but you have to get that balance right. There has to be that intense focus within your group about what you're there for, and we were able to do that. Now, but one lasting memory relating to the round game that we won, 3-1, was on our warm down lap when we were soaking in this incredible support from the crowd and feeling pretty happy with ourselves. Um, as we reached the far corner of the ground, Rick stormed out um, to us from 50 metres away and he got us all together and some veins popping out of his head, he said, we haven't won anything yet. And uh, so I guess going to the final was never going to be any complacency and we played them again. Yeah, we knew Argentina was a, a very good team uh, with some amazing players, some brilliant names in there. Um, and we had obviously watched them play, studied them, and then we watched them play their final um, match before coming into the gold medal game. Um, and they'd played really well, um, and they'd uh, had a really good um, win. But it was in their um, celebrating that made me stop and, and think. It felt like uh, they had already won the final, that or, or their final, that they were really, um, they were celebrating getting into the gold medal game. Um, for us, it was a little bit different. It was uh, more subdued and the understanding that we hadn't completed what we'd come there to do, that we were going into the gold medal game, wanting to come out with a gold medal, not silver. Yeah, I can still remember the noise and atmosphere um, 
as we walked out onto the pitch uh, in every single game. It was just incredible. Uh, I've never been in anything like it. Um, just it was deafening from when we ran around the second pitch and people saw us warming up uh, to when we warmed up on the pitch um, before the game. We couldn't hear ourselves um, think or talk. Uh, and then the warm down after every game was just, uh, again, incredibly loud and uh, just amazing and something that uh, international hockey players are not really used to. Playing in front of um, a home crowd at Sydney Olympic Park was just amazing. It was incredible. Uh, it was obviously the biggest um, Aussie crowd well, that I'd played in front of. I assume everyone um, in the team. Uh, and there was definitely a lot of pressure, a lot of expectation. We were the defending Olympic champions um, and playing at home, great expectations. Um, but I loved it. Final was a night game and I was always a pretty poor sleeper at the best of times. But I do remember with Martha's my roomie getting a reasonable night's sleep somehow the night before. It was more about how we're going to get through the whole day before playing that night. We had a good routine with our uh, pre-game day preparation, so the usual weigh-in, brekkie in the food hall, uh, team walk and stretch. We had meetings in our lines, so going through what was important in each position. And the more we talked, we realised that we were well prepared. We'd done all we could do. We knew as much as we could about the Argies. Uh, we felt good as a group. We just needed to play. And there was a fair bit of free time throughout the day, which can always be dangerous. You tend to overthink. So we got together and had a great team sing-along to our favourite team songs with Clovey on guitar and a few of the girls doing some well-practiced dance moves. And then we all watched this um, highlights video, which Trisha put together, and mainly with all the fun things we'd done together over the past couple of years. It was great and it helped us feel a little more relaxed going to the game that night. Oh, our game was based around overwhelming the opposition by putting this relentless pressure on, um, on you know, when we didn't have the ball um, and then moving the ball quickly with hard work and speed off the ball. Um, so we spent much more time on perfecting this game, our game, um, than really formulating plans for oppositions. The only specific plan I can really remember um, for the final was that we had a few special penalty corner variations saved up for that game against Argentina.